The information hub for the course is the online course guide, so let's get oriented with that. I put the permanent URL at the top. It's on that courses.id8.cmu.edu web server under 16-223. A couple of things to note. Uh, first of all, uh, each day will be a page for the day under the logbook. So if we look at daily agenda logbook, the idea is each day before we have a class meeting, there will be notes on what happens for the day. Currently, there's not much filled in, just the first day shows introductions. And then this will be filled in before each class as we progress through the time of the course. There's a section of technical exercises from which will be drawn the specific assignments that we will be doing. Um, these span a wide range from uh, Tinkercad and basic Arduino electronics. Um, they cover a lot of ground. We won't use all of them. Uh, they've been in development for years and um, are constantly being revised. There's also a section of sample code uh, for Arduino, a little bit of Python, and a, a reference guide section, which is as close as we get to a text for the course. There is a section that covers some basic electronics ideas, elementary programming, elementary, elementary engineering of other kinds, as well as just various sort of other, other informational pages. We will be using Canvas for the course calendar, as well as for posting assignments and reporting grades. There won't be any substantial course content on Canvas. The idea is that it's a launch point for keeping a com common calendar, and the assignments on Canvas will simply link back to this site, but that'll provide an anchor for putting it on a schedule and reporting grades. Uh, we'll also be trying to use Piazza for the first time. Piazza is an online question and answer system. Some classes use it very effectively for students to post questions at all hours of the day or night, and then have instructors and uh, potentially other students answer them. I've never used it before, it's my first semester with this, but we're going to try it as a new resource to help our current distributed remote model of, of learning. There's a second site kind of contained within the course website. If I scroll down a little further, it says Student Work WordPress, and there's a, there's an, a link here, 16223 Student Work Area, that actually uh, links to a, a WordPress site that is contained within the main site to which students can create accounts and post results. We won't be using this at first. The current model of the exercises and technical exercises beginning in the class means that we will be posting the small results to Canvas for direct grading. But once we get into collaborative work and the, the larger demos and project work, then all documentation reporting will be posted to the site. Things can be posted either publicly or privately. Uh, many students do choose to keep things public but it's also possible to post things in a way that only members of the class or only the instructors can see them. If you look at the URL at the top, you can kind of see that there is an F2020 in there. Um, there are links on this site and by changing the URLs to all the previous incarnations of the class. It's possible to go back in time and look at previous projects um, and it follows a similar structure. The last comment is that the guide is a work in progress. It's like writing a book, honestly. It's a constant, constantly evolving document in which the exercises are changed year by year. I add new content to help explain things. And it, it serves as kind of an anchor point for information. Of course, we exist in a much larger world of information. And so there's a wealth of resources online for any of the topics that we'll cover. The one thing I'll ask is that I'm not responsible for the rest of the web. So it's most helpful when you ask me questions if we can refer to the explanations that I've given and it's the sample code that I provided because that's about which I can speak the most directly. Sometimes students will simply Google a question and paste the first example they find online into the result and then complain that it doesn't work. Sometimes those examples out there are fantastic and they're an excellent resource to be looking at. By the same token, there's a world of misinformation. So I will do my best to provide good information on my course site and help direct you to good outside resources. But um, let's just consider all the information very carefully as we, as we learn together about these things.